Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out the video. Today I am heading back up to Margaret Lake to go check out that spot that David and I found in the last video. Really excited to get up there. I still have a bit of a drive, so I figured I'd time lapse it because the time lapse failed in the last video. So uh, yeah, here we go. So we just pulled up at uh, Margaret Lake. Uh, we're not on the lake itself, but I'm backpacking in, so I figured I wouldn't take up a spot right on the lake in case someone else wants to use it. But I'm gonna strap in and we're gonna get hiking. All right, let's go. right there we're already close but we have to get to the other side which is way over that way and we're down at the water now and look at that absolutely stunning talk about animal tracks they are everywhere over here that's wicked and we have arrived for those of you who haven't seen the previous video, this is the spot David and I found and it's absolutely perfect, right on the water, plenty of space to set up and we have an established fire pit already. Now that we're here, the real work begins, I have to get my hammock shelter all set up and then we can start building a bushcraft camp. I think I'm going to use this space right here to set up my hammock. Before I go further with uh, the rest of my setup, I just wanted to show you guys my new sleeping bag. This thing is an absolute beast. It is a uh, minus 40 sleeping bag from North Face. It is the Inferno series. It's probably going to be a lot of overkill on this trip because it's only going to be about minus four. But, you know, this thing has a lot of features to help you uh, ventilate and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I don't overheat. But I really wanted to give it a shot and see what it was all about. So uh, we'll see how it goes and hopefully I don't cook myself. The hammock is all set up. The only thing left is just to peg down the uh, ground sheet so it stays put. But the view this time is absolutely perfect. So it looks like I got lucky and there's a bit of firewood that's been bucked up but not split yet. But that stuff's gonna burn beautifully. So lucky me, a little bit of less work. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to building this fire. So this, this is a pretty good source of firewood. Oh, come on. And uh, it'll probably give me a nice theme to work with when I'm bushcrafting later.
one. All right, so the firewall is all finished up. I uh, had to scavenge quite a bit of materials. There's a lot of stuff that was really thick and too thick for me to cut with that little handsaw. But it is all finished for now. This is our little cook area. I'm gonna build a little cooking tripod so that way I can boil water. All right, so I have to boil a bunch more water for dinner. I have those backpacking meals that are dehydrated. So uh, yeah, need a significant amount of water to boil. And then uh, yeah, I'll be eating.
the water is all boiled and tonight we have home style chicken pot pie. I'm gonna get the water poured into this thing and uh, it'll get cooking and we can finally eat. All right, so the timer just went off for me to uh, give this thing a final stir. It does look a little wet. I think I put a little bit too much water into it by accident. So we're having chicken pot pie soup, but that's all good. Get the nutrition anyways. Oh, delicious. I mean, I'm not even kidding, it's really good. So I'm just gonna eat, and then I think I'm gonna get camp kind of organized and cleaned up, and then I'm gonna, gonna get ready for bed. Um, the sun's gonna be going down pretty quick here. So I'm gonna take care of all of that, and uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. But if not, I'll see y'all when the sun goes down. One thing that's really important when you're camping out in bear country is to make sure that at night, whenever you're not using it, that your food is all hung up in a bear hang. So, I have been trying to figure out how to do a bear hang out here because there's not a lot of good spots. And I think I've mangled my way into a half decent design, hoping it'll work. But, we're here, so here it is. I've got my food bag chilling right here. I've got one line going across to that tree and across to that downed tree right there, that chunk of deadfall. And that way I can get access to it and also be able to pull it tight while it's maintaining a high height for this. And then this line here is just going to the tree that it's attached to. And it's gonna pull the bag backwards and out and up kind of out into this dip that's down here to give it a little bit of extra height. So it's my first time doing a setup like this, so we'll see how it goes, but hopefully we don't get any friends in the night. Well, the sun has gone down and uh, I'm winding down myself. Just waiting for the fire to burn out and I'll be headed to bed. All right, I'm all stretched out in the hammock. I'm uh, tucked into my nice new sleeping bag, which I'm really excited to try out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head to bed. So I'll catch you all in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning, everyone. It is just about 7 a.m. and I am gonna get out of the sleeping bag and make a cup of coffee. I slept absolutely wonderfully in the new sleeping bag. It was amazing, nice and toasty warm. I'm gonna have to really push it this season and see what I get comfortable in in the sleeping bag with as little shelter as possible. But it's cold out and I want coffee, so let's get at it. It is coffee time.
thank goodness, because it was actually pretty chilly. It hit minus four degrees Celsius last night. Um, so being outside of the sleeping bag is rather cold, but that thing was a oven last night. I was very warm. So very happy with that, but it's coffee time. So let's get to drinking it. I actually must say I made the perfect cup. Sometimes it's too weak, sometimes it's too strong. I got the Goldilocks one right here. It's absolutely perfect, wow. Oh, man, you should see what I'm looking at right now. The uh, lake is absolutely gorgeous. It's perfect, everything is so still right now. I don't think I'm gonna get up to any more building today. I'm just gonna pack up camp and get out of here. I think this trip we're gonna just go with the tripod and the, the heat wall. And then I think next time we're here, gonna put in a shelter. But so far so good. First time coming back here and actually camping this spot and getting an idea of what it's like. And I'm pretty happy with it. So I think I'm definitely gonna be establishing more of a camp here later on. But for now, this is all we're getting up to. All right, let's go. It's been uh, really nice walking in the forest this morning. It's really nice and cool. Nothing uh, too crazy, but the lake is nice and calm. Really pretty to look at and not getting too hot either. So that's really nice. But I think we're getting pretty close to the truck. So I'll let you know when we get there. And we are back at the truck. Happy day. It's quite the hike, actually. The last bit there is uh, the easy part, but once you uh, get into the game trails, it's a lot thicker and a lot harder traveling. So uh, pretty happy to be back. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get all my kit loaded up into the truck and then we will get on out of here. All right, everything's loaded up. Time to get out of here.
Well, the best part of the trails are behind me now, so uh, that's it for me. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Really appreciate your support, and enjoy the time lapse of the rest of the trip out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.